If you watch my channel at all, you'll know I tell you over and over again that I suck at painting. Uh, especially when it comes to MDF. Now, MDF is not the greatest material in the world, but it has its place. Uh, there's a decent chance that you actually have MDF board inside some of the furniture or some of the decor in your house. It's widely used. But we also know the MDF sucks up paint like crazy. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to take today and experiment with five different types of sealant to see which one gives me the best result on my MDF projects. So let's dig right in. Okay, to begin with, we're gonna be using polyacrylic spray, polyacrylic brush on, clear lacquer, shellac, and polyurethane. I'm gonna start by labeling each of my boards. First of all, we're gonna have the polyacrylic, polyacrylic spray, lacquer, Polyurethane, shellac, and finally, this is going to be a control board that we're just going to spray paint with no kind of protection at all. So I'll go ahead and spray the control. Again, it has no protection whatsoever. Then let's begin to spray on each of our sealants. The shellac took a second to get rolling there, but we're going to start off putting some shellac on. Then we'll move on to the polyacrylic spray. Next will come the lacquer. Then the polyacrylic brush on. Now I think this goes on a little bit thicker just because of the fact that you're brushing it on. And finally, the polyurethane. What I want you to watch right here is something that uh, is pretty uh, interesting. You'll actually see that the polyurethane dries almost instantly. It started to dry and get soaked into that MDF before I could even get finished brushing it on. Once we have everything done, let's go ahead and let it dry. Hey, and before we go any further, don't forget, hit that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment, even if you're just telling me what you like or don't like, because those interactions really tell YouTube that this is valuable content and encourages YouTube to share out both this video and my channel to a wider audience. It allows my channel to grow and it doesn't cost you a thing. All right, so now just a couple of observations while everything is drying. I've put three fairly liberal coats of each type of sealant on each one of these. Uh, the polyurethane, polyacrylic, polyacrylic spray, uh, shellac, and lacquer. And the one thing that I really noticed, uh, even though it started to dry a little bit more now, is that the polyacrylic and especially the polyacrylic spray uh, seem to dry the slowest. Uh, now, I don't know exactly what that means, and it could be that maybe I put slightly more on these, but I tried to make sure that I put about the same amount on each one. So that's just kind of an interesting, um, in interesting observation. The uh, polyurethane dried almost instantly. Okay, so the paint that I'm actually using is a Krylon Fusion All-in-One Paint and Primer. So it's got a little bit of primer built into it anyway. <clears throat> and I went with the uh, blue, being a UK fan. To start off with, this is just the paint and primer with no sealant to it. And it doesn't do a bad job with two coats. 
Um, it's a little bit flat, but it does uh, seem to seal pretty well. But it's a little bit uneven and it's not that, uh, doesn't look that great. All right, next, let's take a look at the lacquer. Now, the lacquer, if we take a look at it, uh, it's a, a little bit flat, although it's not bad. It does have a nice little shine to it. And one thing that I noticed with the lacquer more so than the others is that we actually have a really smooth finish, whereas the others seem to be a little bit more um, uh, marked up and there seems to be a little bit more of a grit to it. This is a much smoother finish. Next, let's take a look at just the shellac. Shellac by itself is okay. It's a little bit flatter. I don't know how much it uh, really shows up on screen, but it's a little bit flat, but not a bad finish in itself. Next, let's take a look at the polyacrylic spray. It's got a decent shine to it, a pretty good finish, but there is a little bit of graininess in there. So I think the lacquer actually did a better job of creating a flat finish. Now let's go to the polyacrylic brush on. Now I got a little bit too thick on the paint right there, but this one actually has a pretty good finish right here. Um, a little bit of a graininess to it, but not quite so much of a graininess as we had to the polyacrylic spray. So it probably went on a little bit thicker um, and led to a little bit of a nicer finish. And then we have the polyurethane. It's pretty flat. Uh, with one coat of paint, it actually didn't do a great job, but um, uh, it is an even finish. Now here's the true test of working with sealing MDF. Uh, if you ever worked with MDF, you know that the ends tend to suck up that paint much more quickly uh, and much more aggressively than the, uh, the, the surfaces do. So let's go ahead and seal up and paint the ends and see how they hold up. All right, so now that the ends have had a chance to dry, let's take a look. Now, as I would have expected, the control that doesn't have any type of protection is flat, soaked in quite a bit, not impressed. Um, kind of on the same line, the polyurethane didn't do a great job either. I didn't expect it to. I just decided to try it because I happened to have it in my shop. Um, next, the shellac did okay. I like shellac because it's natural, um, it smells a little bit better, but for the purposes of sealing MDF, it did all right, but not my favorite. Um, actually, even though I don't feel that it did as good of a job sealing the end, the lacquer still probably is my favorite sealant. Uh, the polyacrylic on the ends right there actually really did a, a really good job. It's sealed, it's nice and shiny, while even the lacquer is a little bit flat. So could it be that with the lacquer, maybe if I were to put one more coat on there, it would be a little bit nicer. Um, and one last thing that I didn't do that I probably should have done is I probably should have sanded these edges to try to get them as nice and smooth as I could to really see what it would look like. I didn't do that. I might go back and try that again. But um, given everything that I've done, with a little bit more prep work, the polyacrylic or polyacrylic spray could turn out to actually be a good option. But I think my favorite so far is probably the lacquer. So I'll continue to use both of them and kind of uh, refine them a little bit. But I think both of these types of sealant are pretty good options. So now, what are my takeaways from this particular experiment? First of all, I think I became a little bit better at painting MDF because I did get to actually experiment with all these. Number two, I think maybe using the paint and primer um, in one gave it a slightly better finish, uh, even on the uh, control MDF, 
just simply spraying it on. It's not bad. It's a little bit flat, um, but I've done worse. Next, uh, same thing right here with the, um, with the polyurethane. It's a little bit flat and you can actually see right here that it actually did soak into the MDF a bit more, which is kind of interesting. Um, next, we see a couple of these, the shellac and the polyurethane, I'm sorry, polyacrylic spray, both leave a fairly grainy finish, whereas the brush on polyacrylic leaves a slightly better smooth finish, but the lacquer leaves an incredibly smooth finish and it's very shiny. So for my money, I think moving forward, I'm going to go with two to three coats of lacquer anytime that I'm painting MDF board. So I hope you got something from that. Let me know what your thoughts are, what your results have been with similar types of experiments or similar types of products. So I hope you got something out of it. Again, hit that subscription button, like, share, comment, all that jazz. That really helps the channel. And let's get out there and make some stuff.